Top of the morning, Gators. Today is Tuesday, September 21st. Welcome to Gator Nation News. I'm Jaden. And I'm Josue. Josue. What's up? I have an inquiry. Elaborate. What's your favorite cereal? My favorite cereal? That's a serious question. But I think I'm going to have to go with Count Chocula. Count Chocula. I haven't seen that one in the market for a while. I personally like fruity stones. You mean pebbles? Nah, stones. That big five pound bag you get for three dollars at Sam's or Aldi's. Stones. So you're just broke. Yeah. Last night, our Lady Gators had a great performance in the 3-0 win against Brazzleswood. The next game is still this evening against Ball High. So come out and cheer on our Lady Gators on another win. All seniors will have a meeting this Friday, September 24th. We will be meeting at 8.50 at the beginning of Character Strong. Seniors will be dismissed from second period by Dr. Smith to report to the auditorium. Please plan to attend this meeting. We will be discussing important upcoming dates and this year's prom. If you're looking for some volunteer hours on October 9th, there will be a beach cleanup day at East Beach in Galveston. Anyone is welcome to attend, but if you're under the age of 15, we ask that a parent or older sibling attend the event as well. Families are welcome too. You have to register to attend. Once registered, you will receive additional event information. This is a one-day exploration of pollution found on our Galveston beaches. Nerdles, microplastic, trash, and cigarette butts are taking over. So put on your sunscreen, grab your gloves, and let's get cleaning. For more information and registration, please visit www.texasbrigades.org under Experiences. The Texas Association of Future Educators is collecting some reward items for the teen cancer patients at the Texas Children's Hospital. After treatment, they get to choose a prize, but most of the prizes are geared towards children. If you have anything you think a teen would enjoy, for example, unopened makeup, fidget toys, or even $5 gift cards, turn in your items to room A108 or A105 by Thursday, September 23rd. Attention DECA students, we will hold our next meeting on Thursday, September 23rd during all lunches. We will have a meeting during A, B, and C lunch. Feel free to bring your lunch with you to the meeting in D102. We will be discussing different opportunities that are coming up and exploring the different competitions and areas of study. Don't forget officer applications are due by Thursday. Are you enrolled in the Health Science Pathway? Do you enjoy participating in community service? Do you have a competitive spirit? Then HOSA, Future Health Professionals, is the student organization for you. Just use the QR code or link below to register and pay the $25 annual dues. The deadline to join HOSA is October 4th. Our first meeting will be held on October 7th at 2.45 p.m. in CT 114. National Honor Society members need to come by room N235 to grab your yearly folder. And the next meeting will be October 11th. National Art Honor Society members, please come out of Ms. Somerville's room, E101, by Wednesday, September 22nd, before or after school, to pick up your folder. Be sure to sign in when you pick up your folder, as this will count for your meeting attendance. And don't forget to bring your dues. The next official meeting will be October 12th. If you missed the Mu Alpha Theta meeting, you can still fill out the membership application by filling out the form with the given QR code. All applications and transcripts are due by Friday, September 24th. If you have any questions, please contact Ms. Garcia in room K210 or by email. Make sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube at Gator Nation Media and on Twitter at Gator Nation Live for the latest news and live updates. And if you're a staff member with interesting stories or information you want included on Gator Nation News, be sure to send them to our email at gmmedia at dickinsonisd.org. Well, that's all the news we have for you today. We'll see you tomorrow on Gator Nation News. And now we'll toss it over to Austin for the fun facts of the day. Here's the fun fact of the day. The richest superhero is T'Challa, King of Wakanda. He has an estimated worth of around 500 billion, while Tony Stark has 100 billion, and Bruce Wayne, only 80 billion. That's all for now. I'll see you tomorrow.